We are here with another digital background exchange. It is a collaboration with myself and Shell C and Bea Grob and Ayala. Oh, holy cow, hold on. Ayala Art. Sorry, Ayala, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you except it's Corona Brain. Um, okay, so I, like most of you, am finding it occasionally challenging. Well, some of you are finding it very challenging in the current world situation to be creative. I am usually overflowing with ideas. It's just right now a matter of getting me to focus on one. That's mainly my problem, but I understand where some of you are having trouble concentrating and becoming creative at all. Um, and if you're watching this in the future and you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, Google 2020 and you'll figure it out. So anyway, yes, we're filming this in the midst of all of that stuff you just Googled about. Um, so we have a lot of um, really fun background exchange, background digital backgrounds that we exchanged. This is the one I did and I will um, put it up for you guys in a file. You can download it and for free and you can create something with it. And if you do, I'd love it if you're over on Facebook and you're in one of my art groups, if you share with me what you created with this. Um, and then I got the, these from the other ladies. I don't remember whose is whose, but I think this is Bea's. I think this is Shell's and I think this is Ayala's. I think that's how that goes. And I have this little wood board with a quote on it. Um, this is from Dollar Tree. I bought this a long time ago. Uh, the date on the back of it, is that a date? It says, Jan yeah, Janu manufactured January 2019. I've had this in, the, in my closet of spare parts for a while. I don't think I've had it quite that long, but I do think I bought it before Christmas. Um, so we're gonna work on this. I also was printing these out and I found this on my computer. Now, in the current climate that we're having right now, I think this is very appropriate and it would definitely suit me to have something hanging up in my art room with this on it. It also probably would suit one of you very much. Am I going to hang this particular board up in my art room? I don't know, I might give it away. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video, I'll let you know. Um, I might hang it up, I might keep it and hang it up. I certainly could use these reminders of how to stay calm and hate, how to stay uh, de-stressed. I don't know where I got this from, I just found it randomly on my computer, no idea. Um, okay, so we're gonna use some extra heavy matte gel medium. I'm gonna randomly attach um, these papers to the background and I'm gonna, my goal is to cover, um, yeah, the whole thing, I think, the top and the sides. So we'll see how far we get with it and I'll be back.
Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna see where we go from here. I will tell you two things. When you're doing collage like this um, with uh, prints that you've made at home, uh, probably on your inkjet or similar printer because you don't have a laser printer. I don't have a laser printer. Um, and you're worried about the ink running, which it will, if you use something to adhere it to whatever you're working on that has too much water in it. Um, and as it is, this did start to run a little bit, but I used um, a heavy gel medium. This happens to be golden, but you can use any brand. There are some great um, inexpensive store brands. In fact, um, Dick Blick has their own brand of extra heavy gel medium. It works just fine. I just happen to have this one and it's really old and I'm trying to use it up. Um, but if you use this, it doesn't have as much water on it as say, um, matte medium or glue, or this has less water in it. So usually your paper will run less. Uh, and, um, I can put it on a little thicker and give the piece a little bit more texture and a sort of a clear coat when it's dry. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and for you, it'll just be a second, but I'm going to let this dry overnight and then we'll revisit it and see what happens in the morning. And the paper is wrinkling a little bit. I'm not too bothered by that necessarily, um, but I'm gonna clean up the mess and we'll see where we go from there. I'll be back.
Okay guys, it's still a little wet, but you saw me use a Stabilo pencil, some uh, pit pens, which are India ink, but if you get in there really quick before they dry, you can move it around. Um, so that was why I got a Q-tip um, to highlight some of the different shapes I put in the background and to highlight the uh, list of Zen things. And also used a black pit pen to draw some viney shapes on here. I love the way it turned out. I didn't expect that. Now it is still shiny and wet and you can see a little bit of milky right here. I put another layer of um, the matte gel on here to just kind of seal everything in. You don't really need to do that. So it's not completely dry, but it will be more like um, it was midpoint when I turned on the camera where it was very matte finish. I really like the finish on it, so I'm not gonna put a glossy coat on it. I'm gonna just let it be matte. I will put a picture of it here somewhere in its dry state. Anyway, I love the way it turned out. My only problem with it is I put the, the list of Zen things on upside down. So I'll have to figure out uh, to put another block in here to um, hang it, but I love the way it turned out. Am I gonna keep it and hang it up in the art room or am I gonna give it away? I don't know yet. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel for that because I'll have it in probably a vlog and I'll let you know. Um, more than likely, I'll put it up here somewhere, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, I am going to include links for everyone else's videos in the description below, so please check it out. Don't forget to support the free content here on my YouTube channel by checking out the ways to do that, like shopping in my Etsy store or supporting me over on Patreon or in YouTube membership or something like that. All of the ways to do that are in my video description. Now, all your other favorite creatives, including the ones here in this collab with me um, in this video hop, all have ways to support the free content, both here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. I would really advise that you, if you can, check out their video descriptions, see how you can support the free content. If you can't find a way, ask. Maybe they have one and they're just for some reason not advertising it. We would all love the um, support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Co leave a question, comment, or concern down below. I do respond to every single one of my comments. And um, that's it. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.